Hi, this is Kevin McMurray with TrackingSharks.com. Today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, ordered some Jaws collectibles from ToyWiz.com and going to open them up and see what they look like. Uh, figured you guys, most of you like sharks, so you might be interested in some Jaws toys. Collectibles, sorry. So the reason I went with ToyWiz, it was about $10 cheaper um, than versus Amazon. So I'm not really into the unboxing stuff, but I figured it might be cool. Packaging's kind of beat up. I uh, really expected a little bit better from that. So here we've got Mr. Matt Hooper. And I'll take some better shots of this. Uh, looks all right. Box is a little bent here, the peg hanger. But I think that's probably all right. Stickers messed up here at the bottom, too. But that's Mr. Matt Hooper. And we've got Quint. Kind of the same deal here with him. Tags kind of messed up at the top. Been up, a little damage to the box. These are made by NECA, which I understand that they had a Roy Schreider, but uh, not sure exactly um, what happened, but I think there were some rights issues so that they couldn't do it. And here we got Hooper in the cage. This cool little Aqualung mask, or US divers back in the day. His box is actually perfect. There's no damage at all to it. Ordered a second quint. It was a damaged box quint. So that's perfectly acceptable. And you know, I'll have him out maybe in another video. And then we've got a Toonie Terrors. So it's quint, comes with a machete and looks like a spear here. But anyway, I collect a lot of jaw stuff and shark stuff, as you can tell. We've got some posters and things like that. But um, anyways, I'll get some up-close footage here and kind of let you look at them, see what you think. Be sure if you like these videos to let me know in the comments. I know it's a lot different than what we usually do. Anyway, these are pretty cool because they come with different heads. Here's a closer shot of Amity Hooper. It's Amity Arrival. You see you got a couple of heads and several hats. I got a couple little cups here. Remember when Quint crushed his beer can and Hooper crushed his little styrofoam cup to show that he was a badass too. And he's got his bag there. But anyway, it looks pretty good. Like I said, there is some damage to the box. Um, I can't see it here. Anyways, it looks pretty good. This one does. All right, so here is Shark Cage Hooper. And there he's got his needle that he was going to put on the end of the spear to poison jaws. Got a little knife, two heads again. Regular looks pretty nice there. And he's got the flashlight, which is kind of neat. Does anybody remember where the uh, flashlight came into play? Oh, he's got some fins. I don't know if you can see those. So old jet fins. Scuba Pro jet fins, I guess. And here's the Toonie Terrors. Really disappointed it didn't come with a barrel. All right, then we got Quint. It's got a machete, a machete, a bat, 
and Nicholas in his Nalset can. Crushed and uncrushed. Looks like another hat. Uh, rifle there. And then it looks like the uh, gun that you shoot the spears with, with the barrels. Oh, it looks pretty nice. This is a close-up of broken, crushed box Quint. It looks pretty good overall. Uh, the jacket looks a little bit too big for him, but his outfit looks pretty nice, especially the shoes. He's got little pegs at the bottom, so you can put him on a stand if you want. Hat looks pretty good. Overall, it's a pretty nice figure. It's hard to keep it standing up. He's got an M1 rifle here, I believe that's correct. If somebody can confirm in the comments, uh, let me know. This is his greener harpoon gun. Uh, that's what he used to shoot the barrels at Jaws. He's got a little bat. I think that's too big of a bat. It seems like uh, I remember the bat being much, much smaller in the movie. Uh, it's like I say, it's kind of tough to keep him standing up. Uh, you can't adjust him at the right above his waist to make him stand a little bit better. Here's the machete. I uh, thought that was a little drop of blood there on the blade, but it actually, I think, is just a defect. This is the neckerchief that goes around his head. You can put it instead of the hat if you want. And he's got the crushed beer can. Remember, he and Hooper were doing something on the boat and Quint crushed his and Hooper crushed his little tiny styrofoam cup. That's another beer can. Uh, you can see the stickers kind of pulling it off. That's a little disappointing, but it's still a cool little feature. You see he comes with a ton of little hands. You can use different ones for different weapons or different poses for each one. Uh, overall, though, it's a pretty good looking figure. Um, I'll take him and adjust him here in just a second so you can see what he looks like without his jacket. This is what Quint looks like without his uh, army jacket on. You know, it doesn't look that great just because of the arms and the articulation points. He's got his Narragansett can there in his hand. Yeah, it just looks funny. I think he looks better with his OD jacket on. Uh, I do like the neckerchief around his head. I mean, that's kind of cool. Here's the different hands and hats again. Overall, though, I don't really care for this look just because it looks so unrealistic. I don't know if there was much they could have done with the arms. Um, but anyway, this jacket looks much better, even though the jacket kind of looks funny. They did a great job with the head, but overall, you got to keep the jacket on him if you want a realistic kind of look. There's probably plenty of different poses you could put him in. Uh, again, I had difficulty kind of keeping him standing up straight. I don't know, what kind of poses do you think you could do with him? I figure I'll just use him as a little piece to stand up in the background of videos. Really, though, I'm not sure how long Quint's been dead, the actor, but they did a great job on his likeness as far as the face goes. Quint says to like and subscribe. Uh, be sure to leave a comment if you like this kind of video. I've never really done one like this before. Uh, but if you'd like to see more of these collectibles, let me know. I've got several. Let me know your favorite Jaws collectible in the comments down below. Uh, like I say, be sure to like and subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook at Tracking Sharks, Instagram, Twitter. You can support us directly at patreon.com or through a membership here on YouTube. And be safe and get wet soon.